don't expect perfection and you'll be extremely happy. That's the moral of the story today. Uh, imagine this man, you wake up in the middle of the night and somebody's walking in your room and it's me whispering in your ear. Hey, I fixed iPhone through tone calibration for LG OLEDs. Would you be excited? I would be extremely terrified and probably freak out. And then I would calm myself, sitting down in my chair, be happy that I got that notification on my phone and that it wasn't real life. <laughs> Look on my TV, map it to these settings that I'm about to show you. And I would be like, oh shit, my eye health, you know, how harshly the TV affects my eyes. This feels more easy to look at, way easier. And it blends the colors in a such a cohesive way. It's not accurate or anything, but it does look exactly like my phone. So here's what I did. On my phone, I made sure that the brightness is maxed out at 65%. And I'm using True Tone and I don't use the night shift mode on the phone. So I'm not pushing any uh, excess of orange. And now on the TV, all I had to do was, and you can do this in whatever mode you want. Just make sure that you have eye care disabled as you're calibrating. You can use any mode you want. I'm using Game Optimizer right now because I'm currently on my PC. That's what I use for that. And we're gonna use Warm 27, two point method, low point, minus 40, minus 20, minus five. So that will get you great cohesion. Then we go over to the higher points of the grayscale, closing in on those amazing highlights. We are also changing the highlight uh, tonality, but you get the idea. Plus 50, minus 30, minus 36 on high point. And then we are completely done. You can of course combine this calibration if you're on PS5 with my 22 point calibration that is baked into the Hotfix 2.3 if you want to. It's completely up to you guys though. If you're not on PlayStation, I wouldn't use that. And uh, some quick uh, tidbits here and there. Auto detect on color gamut. Don't use any tint obviously. Uh, if you're in SDR, either use 2.2 on gamma or 2.4 and make sure that you're using RGB full and RGB full on the TV or auto auto works um, all, all, all the same honestly work, works works good if you want to use that instead and yeah we're done essentially this is all you have to do and now your TV should look absolutely insane um, let me know how this looks on your panel it's gonna look very magenta very warm but as I said Man, this looks like a QD OLED out of box experience without any calibration kinda uh, when using Warm 2. So it's very comfortable looking, it, it's, it's very easy on the eyes. It's not like the, the harsh LG OLED green that you normally get. Uh, this doesn't make me think about Hulk from uh, the Marvel series. This makes me think about a beautiful woman having the lovable magenta tones and the warmth. It's amazing man and it really makes a different uh, overall experience when you're watching movies. Uh, YouTube videos, everything looks very nicely graded and very compact in a nice way. I really like it, man. I really recommend you try this out. However, uh, just understand though, uh, whilst this looks amazing, it might not be to everyone's taste and you might hate it or you might like it because this looks exactly like how the iPhone OLED panels True Tone calibration looks. So, well, it's up to you if you want to try it out. You don't have to. And if you want more stuff like this in the future, uh, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out from other content that I'm going to be working on in the future. I have some stuff uh, planned in the background. I can't talk about it right now. It's too early, but I'm super excited. The next thing we're going to be trying to dabble with is color banding when gaming on PC. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.